just get right into it. So today, Sun squares Pluto. That's big endings and beginnings. These are our worst fears and our biggest desires. And I say that because that's really, that's, that's, that's a lot. It's kind of scary. You know, in my personal experience, I would think that I'd, I'd, I'd least, I would think I would prefer to meet my biggest desires versus my worst fears. But can I tell you, I actually think I might be more conditioned to deal with my fears than I am my desires. <laughs> I actually think that I've had more work dealing with my fears than I have greeting my desires. I've been conditioned to be like, get suited up, get strong, get resilient, all this shit, blah, blah, blah. You know, greet your worst fears. I've, I've had a lot of experience there. I've had very little experience in, well, let's sit back and watch the way things unfold and let's allow and receive. We understand that we're in a universe by design, a law of attraction where, you know what? We're gifted. Our existence is gifted. All I have to do is get out of the way, decrease my resistance, and allow all that's good. Okay. Doesn't sound that hard, does it? I don't have a lot of experience there. So that's my work for today, and that's going to be my work this week. Um, and, and, and that's what we're going to focus on. Um, slowing down, getting quiet and grounded, and releasing resistance. Um, Again, for some reason, I think it's easier to concentrate on releasing resistance than allowing abundance. Kind of crappy, isn't it? It shouldn't be that way, right? But because of the way that I have been taught and um, the way that I tend to feel more calm and in control when things are orderly and tied in knots and pushed in boxes as opposed to just let it overflow and fall where it may... <laughs> I chose to focus on releasing resistance. So um, the sun is in Aries and the moon is leaving Aquarius today, moving into Pisces. And, and this is just, this is tough stuff. Huge endings, huge beginnings. Mars is also trining Venus. So there's just, we have so many feelings inside right now. We have so many, many of us are being introduced to um, situations, relationships, thinking. I, I have huge beliefs on my plate right now that are no longer working and in realizing that these beliefs don't work for me anymore because this is not who I am the understandings and the perceptions and the this is how it is that I had formed back in the day that crap doesn't apply anymore it just doesn't work I'm releasing it because well it, it doesn't allow me to grow so when I see when I'm greeted with these huge desires where my beliefs don't line up with them and I and I get to greet them this is really hard you know I'm having to make choices that last week I wouldn't have made I'm having conversations that last week I, I wouldn't have had um, I'm seeing things in a new perspective and at the same time it's beautiful it's it's challenging it's very challenging because um, it's uncomfortable because it's unfamiliar for me so um, today I want to encourage us to take some time and get quiet. Now, those that have been um, doing the Be Human system for a while, those who have been with me, you, you're, you're, you're already doing this. You're taking morning mindfulness time. You're setting aside time to, to, to talk with self. Um, if you're not, you got to start. Well, you don't have to do anything, but I strongly recommend that you start. I strongly recommend that you start, especially right now, today, as the sun squares Pluto and as so much is transition, so much transition is happening, and so many of us are feeling stuck because what was is no longer going to work. What is seems way too far down the line, and you know we're kind of like this. Ah! Like I don't want that anywhere, but my God, that! Do you really think I'm ready for that? But I don't want that anymore, so I'm just here, and. I don't have a home spot just yet, right? And, and that same shift happens with the beliefs. Well, I don't believe that anymore. But that I want to believe, but I'm not quite there yet. That's big stuff right there. Thoughts of self. Well, I definitely don't think I'm that anymore. But, oh, would you look at her? I want to be her. I want to feel about myself like her. Ooh, look at that big girl. Look at that pretty girl. That's a lot right now. That's a lot. But this isn't 
stuck. I could see this as in my human finite, limited view, that is stuck, isn't it? I'm not one place or the other. I'm stuck in between. But in divine light coming down, because when the light comes, the information is shown. And that's what's up. This is not stuck. This is transition. This is, that's no longer working, and I want to get to here. So I'm not stuck. I'm making a move. Because the information's coming, I'm seeing that, that, that sitting there is no longer working for me. I'm on my way to the new place because this new information is giving me the vehicle to, to, to transition me to the new place. So instead of feeling stuck, I'm just going to decide to release the judgment and the resistance and all the, well, it should look like it, I shouldn't, and I, I'm, just, I'm just not even going to decide anything. I'm just going to... I'm just going to allow. I'm going to observe and I'm going to allow. I'm not going to judge. I'm not going to analyze. I'm not going to decide. I'm not going to discern. I'm not going to do any of that. Right now, I'm just going to allow because I don't have to be in complete control of how the transition takes place because number one, I'm not the one running the show. Number two, that which is running the show knows far greater than I. And number three, that which is running the show, divine love, higher power, God, the universe, great spirit of creation, always has my back. I don't have to discern. I don't have to decide. I don't have to understand. I'm not the one running the show. Today, I will observe and allow and trust that all that is changing is for me and my highest good. All I have to do is get out of the way and stop resisting. Think about it this way. What if when we're in the spot that we call stuck, that we've understood as stuck, what if this is spirit's way of moving us from here to here? And what if spirit's way of transitioning us from here to here is supposed to go like this? Not working, not working. Zoom, I'm here. But we do it like this. Not working, not working. Zoom. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? What do you think you're doing? I'm used to being here. But I'm trying to zoom you to here. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know if I'm ready. I mean, look at the, this is changing. What do I think about this? Well, is this good? Is this bad? Have I done a good enough job? Did I fail? Am I, am I worthy? That's the stuck. That's the stuck. That's me. That's my resistance. Because I have to discern. I have to analyze. I have to know. <laughs> Spirit's just like, shut up and move your ass. <laughs> just shut up and let me move you, right? Stop with all that willy-nilly craziness that you think you know best in your human form. Because you don't. I'm up here running the show. I just need you to hang on and go with the flow. So instead of, let's just, I refrain from deciding. I refrain from discerning. I refrain from analyzing. I let myself flow. Right? It's not so hard when you look at it that way. When we make silly analogies like this and we see it in, and we see it in a way like that, and we, we take all this grown-up judgment off of it. And we just play with it, right? Because that's, our, that's the way we've been taught, that you have to be a dutiful human, a good human do doing, not a human being, a human doing. And you have to do, do, do this, and it all has to make sense, and blah, blah, blah. Nah, man, just be a being today. Just be a being and be. Let yourself go from A to B in the way the Spirit's choosing to move us. Let's take our hands off this, this, the, the driver's wheel and just put them in the air. Just be. Let that transition takes place. So, um, if this is all brand new to you and you're like, what is she talking about and how do I get there? Then here's what you do. You start with 10 minutes by yourself today. You take 10 minutes in quiet time away from any distractions. And you start with three big, huge cleansing breaths in through your nose like this. Out through your mouth like so. Two more. Ready? One more. You already feel better, don't you? In those three breaths, I had to stop and think about the breathing in order to give you instruction to do it. I quieted my mind and I took my mind off of all that is spinning around me and I brought it inside to focus on my breathing. That quickly, I reduced my resistance to that which is going on around me. That is profound. That quickly, I got quiet, I got centered, and I allowed all that is to stream. 
so that I can listen. So take 10 minutes today. Start with three big breaths. Get quiet and ask yourself. Just get quiet and say, hey, hi, I'm here. How are you today? How can I best serve thee? And then sit quietly, focus on your breathing, and you'll get the answers. They might not come right away. They'll come throughout the day when you stay open and allow. Instead of like, I gotta, I gotta try this. I get to, I get to. Just look around and allow. Listen and allow. Open your hands and allow. Um, 